Hi, I'm Doug Nixon, shop foreman for the North Carolina Transportation Museum, back on 2601 after she's been out of service. We're glad to be back, and here's your report. Last year, the turbo went out on 2601, our Jeep 30 that we use here on daily train rides. With the help of Barney Gramlin and our master mechanic of diesels, Donnie Smith, and other volunteers, we were able to get another turbo, harvest the one that was in and out, replace it. Now it's in service on daily train rides here on the site. that we've completed here lately is our Beaufort and Moorhead 1860 locomotive. This engine's been out of service for about eight to 10 years. Uh, we recently purchased new batteries for it. was able to clean out the fuel tank that had a bunch of algae and other material inside of it. Uh, fixed it back up and now she runs like a top. The 1860 will soon be put into service and be pulling trains here on site it may even be pulling your train when you come visit us. If you haven't been to the Transportation Museum lately, come on out, take your train ride, and you'll get to see a lot of improvements we've done here on the grounds. One of them here is our oil rack that was used back in southern days when they had the property. They would offload material off of tank cars and use them in bulk storage tanks. We're currently gone through and cleaned up the tanks and now currently getting primer and paint to put on them. We'll also be able to clean up and, and get the bulk tanks painted as well soon. We finally opened up our 1905 back shop. It's used primarily here at Spencer Shops today to restore and do heavy maintenance on steam locomotives. Now it has been turned into a great museum piece. We've got everything from vintage cars, We've got a vintage Charlotte trolley, even the Piedmont DC3 pacemaker is in here. So if you get a chance, come by, walk through, and take a look at this magnificent building. One of our newest additions that we've got inside the restoration shop is this car here. It was originally built for the U.S. Army as a hospital car. It's a sister to one that we have on display. It's set up just as when the military had it and used it in service. Previous owners of this car had fixed it up as a nice diner. We purchased it about two years ago. We currently have it in the shop now. We're upgrading, putting a new generator underneath, heating and air system. And this car should be ready for this year's Polar Express, but you also see it on different trains here at the Transportation Museum for special events and our wine and dine train that we always host in February. In addition to the 492 car, we also have one of our open air coaches that you see our guys working on behind here. Uh, work continues to repair a lot of the rusty metal that was found whenever we started taking off the roof and repairing and replacing a lot of the rotten wood as well. We're also looking for volunteers that if you could help out with welding, painting, woodworking, and even interpretive volunteers that can help give tours, please come by and see us or visit us on the web at www.nctrans.org.